weird though, yeah. a, little a little dizzy, right? Uh, so did you see, can you describe the clock that you saw? It was a clock at work, a big white clock. A big white clock, good, at work. And you saw the hands spinning around? Can you remember the time? Yes. All right, what was the time? 3.02. 3.02. Have a look. Oh, no way. <laughs> Show them. It does. Oh my, oh, oh my god, that was amazing. I'm going to set your watch to a very specific time. There. Of course, even in the verbal hypnotic tonality, hypnotic linguistics, there is rhythm, tone, pitch. And in your mind, I want you to see the hands of that clock spinning around and around. It ain't what you say; it's the way that you're saying it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> How did she know? I think. Read my mind. Have you any idea what color balls I've placed in what pockets around my body? No. There's no way, right? No. On the count of three. One, two, three. I'm Keith Barry. I can detect lies, read or implant thoughts, and influence behavior. I'm a mentalist, and I use the power of suggestion, observation, and psychology to control your mind. Is it science or deception? I'm here at Hollywood Billiards, about to meet one of LA's top pool hustlers. I'm gonna study his behavior in an attempt to predict his patterns. If you look at somebody's past behavior, it will inevitably, if they have subconscious patterning, it will give you a lot of indications of their future behavior. Hey, Sean, how are you? Good, how are you? Yeah, great, thanks. Thanks for coming along here today. Of course. Now, you've no idea what's about to take place, correct? I have no idea. Now, I believe you're pretty good at pool, right? I'm all right. How long have you been playing for? Since I was about five. Right. Do you play regularly, like every week or every other day? Like or? Every day, basically. Every day? I've been here for about seven years at this place. All right, and now do you hustle town. at all? <laughs> yeah, yeah. For real? You for really real, do oh yeah. And take yeah. some money from people? Play for money. I'll lose the cue for you. Okay. Uh, you have a jacket over there. Yeah. Can you grab your jacket and put it on for me, please? Fantastic. Here's how this works. In a moment, I'm going to ask you to look the other way. When you look the other way, I'm going to take these balls and place them in various pockets around my body, okay? Mm -hmm. It's important you don't see what pockets I place the balls in. Okay. So close your eyes now, turn the other way, put your hands over your eyes, okay, and stay right there. Let's see. All right, no peeking now. No. Great, turn back. Actually, before you turn back, turn away again. I'm gonna just make a quick change. Great, now you can turn back. All right. Have you any idea what color balls I've placed in what pockets around my body? No. There's no way, right? No. That's important because in a moment, I'm gonna ask you to do the exact same thing. I've got a second set of balls here for you. But the reason we'll keep them inside this box is that I want the cameras to see which order you take them out in. Okay. That's important, okay? I'll close my eyes, I'll look away. clearing off the table? Got him. Okay, close the box and move it aside. Yep. Good. Here's the interesting thing. <laughs> when I asked you to pocket the balls around the table, I was actually observing you. Yeah. I was observing your behavior patterns. And if I got a good read on you, you should have chosen to take the black ball and place it into your right front pants pocket. <laughs> Go ahead and take it out. Okay. And put it right here on the table. What if I told you I did the exact same thing just a few moments ago? <laughs> okay. 
I think you probably put the brown ball in your left front pants pocket. Put it right there. All right, you got my interest. What if I told you I did the exact same thing there also? Will that freak you out just a little bit? How, how the hell are you, uh, <laughs> how the hell are you doing this? Let's stop for a moment. I didn't shoot him in this order, did I? You, uh, what do you think? I don't think so. You didn't shoot them in this order. I didn't shoot them in this order. No, but the order that you shot those balls in told me everything that I needed to know about you. Okay. Look, inside my back left trouser pocket, don't do, I'll do mine first this time. Look, inside my back left, I placed the yellow ball. Can you remember what color you have there? Yeah, I'm gonna guess it's the yellow ball. Okay, well, let's have a yeah, look. Yeah. <laughs> Put it right down there. Okay. Good. I'll do my back right first. I've got blue. What color do you have? Uh -huh. Okay, put it right down there. As a matter of fact, let's do the last two together. Both hands in both pockets on the count of three. One, two, three, both hands together. How the hell did you do this? Now that's a perfect match. That's a perfect match indeed. How the hell did you do that? All right, I'm stumped. He mind hustled me. In many cases, watching people and understanding their modes of behavior allow you to predict the future. He had no idea which ball I was gonna pick up, and yet it's the ball that's in the right pocket. He pulls them out of his own pocket the same way. And if we watch a person long enough, we can get a sense of what these assumptions are and make pretty accurate predictions about what they might do in the future. You know, I'll tell you what, if I could figure out when people were gonna pocket what balls, especially in straight pull, I'd make money all day long. I quit my day job. Do you know the name of your first kiss? I do. How did you know that? You've got an object in mind, yes? I've got it. I haven't told anyone that story. It's freaking impossible. Most of us have convinced ourselves our thoughts are truly private, but the eyes never lie. Only about 20% of our communication is actually verbal. The rest is what's called paraverbal or nonverbal. Okay, so I'm here in Santa Monica with a local artist, Joe King. Hey, howdy. Joe, thanks for taking part in my little experiment here today. Actually, you're very used to standing in front of the sketch pad, but today Absolutely. I'm going to put you behind the sketch pad. Is that all right? We're gonna swap positions. Can you take a seat? All right. I know it's quite unusual for you to swap positions, swap around. In a moment, I'm gonna ask you to draw something. But this is gonna be a little bit unusual. You're gonna draw something that you've never drawn before. So I have to ask you, how many years have you been an artist? Almost 30 years. So how many thousands of things would you think you've, you've drawn? Almost everything. Almost everything, good. So here's what I'd like you to do. I want you to think now of all the things that you haven't drawn. So have a good think about that, of things that you haven't drawn. Okay. I know it's quite difficult. And now I want you to close your eyes, and I want you to draw one of those objects that you've never drawn before. So go ahead and close your eyes. Begin in my mind? In your mind, only in your mind. Okay, see that object now, and start drawing. I'm just gonna touch it very lightly. You've got an object in mind, yes? I've got it. Good. Keep drawing it. Keep your eyes closed just for a moment. I'm going to start sketching here. I have to tell you, I'm one of the worst artists you'll have ever come across, so do forgive me if this isn't as accurate a representation as it should be. Uh, well, let's see, I'll do that. I'm just trying to get an essence. Did you start, by the way, keeping your eyes closed, did you start with a, a straight line which turned into almost like a little bit of a curve? Does that make any sense? Yes. Yes, good. And then you went into another straight line? Yes. Yes, good. And this is the exact way you're drawing it in your mind. Perfect. You went down, and I'm seeing... I'm seeing, like, uh, kind of like a, a cross. Uh, there's some kind of a cross in this. Does that make any sense? Yes. Yes, good. Okay, good. As you're drawing it, I'm drawing in perfect synchronicity with your mind right now. Good, good, good. Let's do that, that, that. Uh, let me do this. And this. Okay, I did my best. Open your eyes. 
So there was many, many objects you could have drawn, yes? Yeah. What was it that you drew only in your mind? Um, a pogo stick. A pogo stick. A pogo stick, huh? Take a look. No way! That's impossible. This is the weirdest thing that's ever happened to me. It's very easy to sense eye movements based on changes in lid tension by feeling around the eyes. And so that probably launched a certain elimination process. It's going to have this kind of shape. It's going to have these certain edges and features in it. It's freaking impossible. When he said, think of something that you've never drawn, I was also trying to think of something that you couldn't find. The pogo stick was something that it's not a, it's not a common toy anymore. I was visualizing the, the, the twin pipes coming up and turning into the handlebars. We also tend to, especially when our eyes are closed and our vision is no longer present, we tend to activate our muscles a little bit in ways that might allow information about the object to come out. I'm really stunned. He's got the gift or the ability or the power to see inside somebody's mind. It's really amazing what you can tell about people just by looking at them. For instance, this girl over here, I'd say she's probably a Scorpio. I can tell that by the way she's dressed. Maybe a Libra, but I'm thinking more than likely a Scorpio. Also, I can tell by her tan. She spends a lot of time outdoors, so she prefers playing sports rather than watching them. I'd say maybe volleyball and also a little bit of swimming too. She's on her cell phone right now. I'd say she's probably on her cell phone to her boyfriend. So I'd say she's not single. She's got a boyfriend maybe for a couple of months. This girl over here, she's studying English. And I'd say she's catching up on some schoolwork today. Let's see how going on with this girl over here. Follow me. Excuse me. Can I ask you a quick question? Yes. We're just filming something about people watching. Oh, okay. Uh, do you read your star signs, your astrological signs at all? Not really, no. Not really? Uh, not I, really? I do sometimes, but not, not often. Well, what star sign are you? What sign are you? Scorpio. Scorpio, huh? That's interesting. And uh, do you prefer playing sports or watching sports? No, playing sports. I don't like watching sports. You don't like watching sports? And what sports do you play? Uh, volleyball. Um, Volleyball, huh? Yeah. You have more than that? And swimming. That's swimming it. also, too. And uh, just one more question. Have you a boyfriend at the moment or are you single? No, I have one. You do have a boyfriend. It's not what you see, but rather how you see it that really matters. Thanks so much. All Thank right. you. You can walk into a room and look around and see certain, several people and get a feel for who they are, a sense of who, what they might do. Uh, but it's not pure science, and it's not 100% accurate. I'd say the girl in the middle, uh, you know, she probably likes watching sports as opposed to playing sports, maybe like baseball or even figure skating, I'd say she'd like. What sports do you like watching? Um, baseball. Baseball, or huh? baseball. figure skating. Baseball and figure skating, too. For instance, this guy over here, you know, he's a very sensitive person, so he's probably on the cusp of either a Scorpio or a Sagittarius. What song are you as a matter of interest? Sagittarius. Sagittarius, cusp. right on the cusp, huh? Do you know the name of your first kiss? I do. Hey, how are you? Can I stop you there for a second? Yes. What's your name? Gabrielle. Gabrielle, how are you? Yeah. Gabrielle, I'm gonna ask you a question. Do you remember your very first kiss? Yes. Do you remember it very vividly? Yes. Good, because not a lot of people remember, believe it or not. Some people get confused, but you do remember. I do remember. Okay, great. Just go back to that moment of time. Can I put okay. your shades up in your head for a second? Of course. Good, I just need to see your eyes do okay. this. Okay. Good, go back now. Almost rewind the tape of your life. Back, 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 good. Good, you're about 12 or 13. I actually think it was 13. You were, you were, a lot of people, it happened at home or in a movie theater, but it wasn't either of those. You were at a, it was a dance. I can see you dancing, almost like at a war memorial dance. Does that make any sense? Yes. Okay, good. And. This wasn't here in Los Angeles, was it? No. It was somewhere like Detroit, or was it Detroit? It no, was in it Michigan. Closed, oh, in Michigan, okay. Uh, so a Michigan warm world dance, focus on his name. It was, it was, it was a short, sweet kiss. It wasn't like a long wind of thing. Oh my god! It was Kevin, wasn't it? Oh my god! How did you know that? Like I haven't told anyone that story since middle school. How would you even guess that? How do you know that? It was. Like, it was Kevin. My... It was Kevin. How did you know that? I haven't told anyone that story. I saw it when you were in school. In my eyes. Yeah. How do you figure that out? Like, how do you like read my mind like that? When was the last time you thought it, Kevin? <laughs> like five years ago. Until, when, the, like, until, after it happened. until that moment right there, you never thought of it. Never Kevin, thought right? of it. Ever. Like I said, I haven't told anyone that in 
for him to just gassy me. Like